Okay, um, today I'm going to talk about Collabora Online and Wopi in Own Cloud Infinite Scale. And um, my name is uh, Willy Kluczek. I'm working at Own Cloud. And first of all, I want to introduce you to Own Cloud Infinite Scale. And uh, as a second point, I want to talk about Collabora Online and Wopi in OSIS. OSIS is shorthand for Own Cloud Infinite Scale because it's quite long and you need to save some time in your daily work <laughs> when talking about OSIS. It's quite fast in comparison. And uh, then we'll do a live demo and also do some question and answers because this is the last talk for today. Um, so I don't know if everybody of you has already heard about OwnCloud Infinite Scale. A lot of you might have heard about OwnCloud. Um, yeah, and the current version of OwnCloud is OwnCloud 10. And um, OSIS is the next generation enterprise file sync and share and collaboration tool of OwnCloud. So you could call it a successor to OwnCloud 10. It has an all new web front end, uh, which is called OwnCloud Web. And um, it's built on Reva. I need to tell you that because that implies some technical uh, reasons how to how we can handle um, handle uh, Wopi and uh, Collabora, and it's also based on the C3 APIs. Something more to Reva. Reva is an interoperability platform um, developed by CERN, and they have the CS3 APIs, which are a defined set of APIs to connect storage and application providers. And um, they try to achieve to connect enterprise, uh, enterprise file sync and share solutions between um, institutions, for example, between universities, because um, CERN is a research institute, which um, has researchers all around the globe at different institutions and they use different toolings and they want to connect them. And OSIS builds on top of that. So we're using their code, but also are contributing on that. Um, and that is also some groundwork for Collabora Online and Wopi in OSIS because I will show you how that works. Um, Reva, which we use in OSIS has an app registry. We can register so-called app providers there. And the app registry then knows about all of them. So the app provider has some properties like supported mind types and a name. And for example, our web interface like OnCloud, uh, OnCloud Web can now ask the app registry to list all supported MIME types for the apps which are available and also list the available applications. For example, is there a Collabora? And um, if the user decides to open a file, for example, with Collabora, um, we will get an URL and um, can open that. But I will show you that in detail later. And also the app registry um, handles creation of new files, um, for example, for, from templates. But uh, yeah, we're still in, in uh, an, yeah development phase, so that's not not um, ready to demo you later. And uh, so that's the app registry part. So we we have a abstraction about applications. Um, CERN also has um, different applications beside Wopi protocol um, applications, I would call them. So they also have, for example, Jupyter Notebook using this or Kodi MD. And um, so how does the setup look like? Um, OSIS does not talk Wopi, and that's what we use Collabora with. So we have uh, the CS3 org Wopi server, which is also developed by CERN and used by CERN. And we can connect that to OSIS. Um, I'll tell you in a minute why that is. 
Um, but first of all, if you want to open a file in OSIS with Collabora, first of all, you need a Collabora online server, uh, obviously. Then we have an app provider, um, which is um, inside Reba, is a so-called Wopi app provider because that understands the discovery protocol of the Collabora online server where we can see, okay, which uh, file types does the Collabora online server support? The app provider then registers itself at the app registry and our client, uh, for example, on Cloud Web, can ask for all the existing apps. The user can then decide to open um, a file in, that, um, in, in, in a certain application and will receive an, app, an URL from the app provider through the app uh, registry and can then edit it, uh, open this URL in an, in an iframe. It also receives a um, token so that it can, uh, that it then passes on to the Collabora online server, which then uses the token to actually do the VOPI magic and talk to the VOPI server, which uh, translates the request to the CS3 uh, APIs, which then does the, the um, file open and file save actions to the storage. So basically, these um, CS3 API protocol uh, make it possible to, to use that uh, out of the box um, with all compliant CS3 API storages. So that's great to having uh, another standard, uh, which you can just use. Um, okay, then let's go to the live demo. Okay, that's uh, what OnCloud Web is looking like. So that's um, the front end for OSIS, you can also use it with OnCloud 10, but it's the only option for, for OSIS. So there's no, no um, uh, we call it the classic UI, which is available for OnCloud 10. This is not available for OSIS. In OSIS, you only have the web UI and also the clients, uh, the desktop client and so on. Like you know it from other um, synchronizing solutions. and. If you do a right click on a file, you can see what, what um, apps are supported. For example, I told you before, there are other file apps besides uh, Collabora or other WOPI Office um, apps. Um, for example, in this case, it's uh, CodeMD. And if you have a look at the at, at a docx file, you see it could be open, it, it is Collabora and it could be another editor and I can open that file in Collabora. And it will load from the storage and yeah, you can edit it. You also can click on the file and there's a default action in which editor it will be opened. And you also can see that some files um, might support only one editor, for example, Collabora supports a rich text uh, document and the other editor doesn't. So it will only be displayed that one. Um, yeah, that's the current state of the um, implementation. There are still uh, some more things we need to implement. For example, um, the new, um, new uh, file dialog is not yet there and yeah um, i think we will have a few things left for next year's conference that we hopefully can demo you to uh, to them <laughs> yeah cool okay that's it i think we can continue with the q a round yes definitely <laughs> thanks thanks really, really great Thank to uh, great to see it presented uh, very good of you